No. <laughs> no. Why am I doing this video? So I decided to trade with Signal Services for a week. This is probably the dumbest thing I'll ever do. At the start of my journey, Signal Services was something that I tried myself and it didn't go well. But that was 2018. Could things have changed in 2022? Hmm. So I guess we're gonna join a Signal group. So the first thing I need to do is to sign up to a Signal Service. Oh my gosh. So I found one on Instagram. Let's click on their website and I'm gonna subscribe. They have a really nice website, but this is where they get you. This is gonna be such a bad idea. Oh my gosh, I'm about to hit submit and check out. <gasps> I'm in. Oh no, I've got a funny feeling about this. This signal service group are based on Telegram. I'm just gonna be looking back to like their old posts just to see what kind of trades they've been taking. Oh my goodness. No. Hello. Hello. Oh, hi. So I have an announcement. Uh-huh. And I've wanted to get your opinion on this. It's very serious. Okay. So I have joined a signal service group. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why? For a YouTube video. Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so for this experiment, I've also created a brand new live trading account and the broker I use is IC Markets. And I've put in 500 pounds, which is roughly $700. We're actually gonna trade with real money. It's oh, it's you. <laughs> oh no, she's right though. This is stupid. <laughs> But we're gonna do it. A few moments later. Guys, we got our first signal. Aussie CAD, buy signal, entry, take profit, stop loss. Hmm. <laughs> There's a bit of a problem because like, I don't know what lot size to use. This is exactly where things can go wrong. <laughs> it says 1.67 and as a seasoned trader, that's a lot. <laughs> I will probably go broke. Pick a number under 0 0.5. 0 0.23. Okay, great. Bear in mind, V is learning how to trade. So if you want to go um, watch that video, then I'm going to plug it on the uh, playlist up here on the little cards. So definitely go watch that. So she's picked 0 0.23. It seems like they took a market order and their price was 9182. So I'm going to set a buy stop order. I really don't want to place this order, but we're going to do it. This is Aussie CAD for a buy for our first trade. Ah! <laughs> We're in! We're in boys and girls! <laughs> We're in! We're in a loss! In a two pound loss! No! <laughs> no! Why am I doing this video? We've got another signal. A. Hey. So it's a Euro Kiwi sell signal. I don't think I've even updated you on how the other positions go. Let's look at it together. One, two, three. Oh, I see red. Oh no. <laughs> we are down. £2.50. It could be worse. It could be worse. <laughs> so this is trade number two from using signal services. Oh, so this time they have said, we recommend to open a small position. But what does that mean? 0.08. All right, we're, we're doing 0 0.08, guys. These are our trades as of Monday, the first day. We're in two trades. We're not making anything, nor do I know why we're entering these trades. So it is Wednesday. Uh, I may have skipped a day, but don't worry. I'm going to fill you in in everything that's been happening. This is the current state of the account. And if I just click on history and on week, you kind of see the trades. So yeah, that's the state of the account so far. Um, it could be worse, it could be worse. But I wanted to whip out my camera because first of all, I'm about to go and see my boyfriend and he is also a trader. I've not told him I'm using signal services, but uh, I thought it'd be quite funny to get his reaction on camera. You don't turn on me now. You don't get no time for me now, babe. Yeah. 
good. How you doing? But it's only you that I like, babe. Cheers. Cheers. Basically, this whole week, I've basically been using signal services really? for my trading. Oh, how's that been going? <laughs> well, I'll let you know. As I said, I'd update you guys on how the trading has been. I mean, we're currently in Kiwi Dollar. Okay, so we're running around 14 pounds. <laughs> Oh, I don't know if I've told Sean who's behind the camera. <laughs> I'm using a real 500 pound account. Oh, nice. So I'm currently up 3% or just under 3%. Whoop, whoop. Um, let's just talk through the trades that I'm going to screenshot and I'll put it up on the screen. Aussie CAD break even. Kiwi dollar minus 16 pounds. That's around just over 3% loss. And that was the trade when they were like, oh, open a small position. And obviously that's when I got my housemate to kind of pick a position size euro dollar break even and then kiwi dollar we made 16 pounds <laughs> hey! um how do i kind of feel about this I, I still don't know why i'm doing this i have no clue what's going on but it seems to me that this signal service they're using patterns trend lines and support and resistance so another thing i also wanted to point out is that i've missed a couple of entries I think it was the pound dollar sell signal and the Aussie dollar sell signal from this morning because I'm not really aware of exactly when they're coming or like what, what may be happening in the markets. They'll just kind of ping when they enter and when I enter it might be a bit too late or I might have missed the entry. So that's just something that I've kind of realized that I'm actually not always going to be on my phone every time that they enter. I actually have a question to ask you, like have you ever used signal services at the start of your journey? No, have you never. Ever, never done signal? Never. What? No way! No, never. I've signed off with a proper course initially. What do you think makes people go into using signal services rather than investing in proper mentorship? Desperation. 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 That get, do you eat. think it's a get rich quick kind Oh of yeah, thing? because they're like, oh they see, you know, on, on Instagram you probably see all the Ferraris, the Lambos, mm. the Rolex watches. They're like, oh I really want that. Yeah. Like, Boom. They see, oh they see some guy on Instagram then sign up for like what? 20 pounds a month, 10 pounds a month? Yeah. It's definitely, I, I, I agree. Oh, cho the chocolate bee wagon. wagon. Oh. Get out, we gotta follow it. <laughs> <laughs> Should we go? Let's go, let's go follow it. So we're currently in Westville and I've just got a, um, a signal. So we're gonna take Cad Yen, bye. Again, I'm just having a problem because they don't teach you risk management nor do they tell you kind of like what, anything about position sizing. Let's place a trade for Cad Yen. Pick a number. Two. He's a trade. Two lots, no. Could be bankrupt. <laughs> zero point zero five then. Zero point zero five. Ta da! We're in. Hey. We're in. Good luck. Let's see what happens. <laughs> mm. We took a loss on that Cad Yen. Oh no, look at that. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! This is what happens when you use signals. Good morning. It is Thursday today. It's another day, another day to be f***ed by signals. Let's just do a quick update. We're about 1% down. So we started with a 500 pound account. We're minus 6.6 .6 pounds down. This is the state of the trades list so far this week. Like I was in the shower, so that's why my hair is a bit fluffy. Um, I took a shower and then I came out and it seemed like they had given a signal, which is Drum roll, please. Pound Swiss swell, swell, blah. pound Swiss, pound Swiss sell. What I found interesting is that they seem to like consistently upload a signal at 9 a.m. So I find that a bit sus because what if there's not a setup at nine? Are they just gonna force a setup at nine? Um, but anyways, let's just enter. Da -da 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 -da. Trade, dun dun dun. Let's pick it off silent mode so we can hear the pop. We've got our pending order all set, um, and now we just wait. Don't endanger us. It's too many. It's way too much. Been through, you can't make it up. Been through, you can't make it up. Work a couple jobs ain't make enough. Work a couple jobs ain't make enough. Turn to the pad and the pen they love. Update time. So I'm currently in two position: pound CAD and pound Swiss. They are both running in the blue. How am I finding this so far? This whole signal thing. Well, um, it makes it easy in terms of, I guess I'm not really forecasting anything in terms of the market uh, too much. 
I'm kind of just having to place responsibility on the signal service. I guess if it was a loss, a break even, I, I don't know why it becomes like that. That's a big problem. Uh, and I guess a lot of people don't even know that would be a problem if they were trading. So I've just got a notification to kind of close this position. Um, we are up 78 pips on pound Swiss. Feel free to close partials on this trade. Yeah, let's go do that. So we're currently in the blue, hey. We're running around 28 pounds. When I've been closing partials on the previous trades, I thought to myself, okay, like someone who's new to Forex and has no clue about partials or risk management or any of this, might not know what that means, but we're gonna go and play it kind of like 50-50. So we're exactly, that is exactly what we're gonna do basically. We are going to close half of this position. I'm actually gonna record this because I don't think a lot of people actually know how to close partials or what that means, but you're basically going to be closing a position uh, or like a certain amount of the position. So I sold 0.05 of pound Swiss. So we're gonna click on close. And uh, I don't know, let's just say 0.3, because obviously I can't put 0 .2, 0.025, which is half of 0.5. But let's just say we're gonna close 0.3 and we're gonna close it with a profit. So boom, done. Now we are, we've got what, 10 pounds or 2% um, of pound Swiss currently running. Let's have a look at the stats so far. We are unfortunately down by eight pounds, which is just like, I don't know, one and a, half just like one point i don't know three five percent loss So it is the last day of using signal services. It's the Friday and I'm currently in one position which I have shared. I think I'm in dollar yen buy. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Just an update on the trades that I've taken so far. So that partial that we left running for pound Swiss that we got taken out for a break even. And then I also took Aussie dollar um, and that got taken out for a full loss. I don't know how I feel about that because obviously when I'm looking back at the charts that they show, they seem to be getting in on breakouts mostly. But anyways, currently heading out um, and we'll see if we get any more signals. I've just entered pound kiwi for a sell and I guess the reason for it this time is just again another breakout trade so this signal service they seem to just trade completely different to how I personally would trade again it's just something you wouldn't know if you were starting out using signals you wouldn't know what's right what's wrong and you just end up learning bad habits unconsciously not even being aware of them being bad habits so at the end of the week, um, I ended up taking 13 trades, five of them being in the blue, few break-evens and the rest were losses. Um, so that's pretty much the summary. In total, we have made a minus seven pound 70p loss. The lessons I took away from using signal services for a week was that I just had no clue what was going on. I didn't exactly know why I was getting into the markets and I just didn't feel in control of my own trading. Using signal services was definitely a way to learn bad habits. It felt like a trap because it was an easy way into the Forex market because you put responsibility on them to make the analysis and tell you when to trade. But that reminds me of the quote, if you give a man a fish, you feed him for a day. If you teach a man to fish, you feed him for a lifetime. So ladies and gents, avoid using signal services. They suck.